Hello everybody and welcome back to the C++ SDL video tutorial series. In this video we're going to move on from the uh, simple initialization program that we had in the last video, in the last tutorial, to something a little bit more. Something that will actually do something. It'll still be very, very basic and very, very minimalist. It won't really do anything at all, but at least something will happen. We're going to create the basic window. Now, Let's hop on over to our documentation, because that's where we're going to learn most of the things. And uh, remember, that's online at libsdl.org. That's uh, SDL's library's homepage. You can find the documentation at wiki.libsdl.org. It's just the preceding term, wiki. Okay, we were looking at initialization and shutdown uh, in, the, in the last tutorial. Now we're going to head back to that API by category little quick link over here. And scrolling down from the basics... Uh, now we want to look into video, and we actually want to be able to display things. We can view information and functions related to display and window management. If we want to create a window, this is a pretty good place for us to start. Now, this category contains functions for handling display and window actions. So we've got some stuff here we can do, we've got some structures, we've got functions, and whoa! There's a function called SDL create window. I wonder what the heck that does. Let's go ahead and, cl go ahead and click on that, sorry, and uh, let's see what this does. This function will create a window with the specified position, dimensions, and flags. Okay, so it's got a specific syntax, and it looks like it needs the type SDL window, because that precedes the function call, and it, it takes a pointer. All right, it uses the asterisk and refers to this could very well be a pointer. Okay, uh, that's good to note. It takes a, a string or a constant character away for the title, I guess we can actually specify the title. It needs an X and a Y coordinate as to where it will start on the screen. Oh, and it takes some integers uh, width and height. So we actually know X and Y and uh, width and height. So we get to know how big the window will be and flags. It looks like, okay, it display. It explains all this in the function parameters. Uh, the X position of the window can be uh, a centered position. It looks like SDL has a flag for that. Or SDL window position undefined. This must be if the display manager will set the window wherever it wants to be all by itself. It, it lets the display manager handle that. Looks like there's another variable for that for uh, SDL window position Y in, the, in this case. We have the width of the window and the height of the window and zero or one or more uh, SDL window flags that can be ORed together or use that pipeline like I mentioned in the last video. Return the window that was created or return null if it fails and you can uh, use SDL the get error function for more information. Here are some examples. Okay, cool. They've got kind of the same code that we do. Uh, okay, it declares the pointer or the window variable that's going to be containing this. Initializes SDL just like we had, except we use everything rather than video. And it creates this with all these uh, arguments here. Window, create window. It uses it undefined, and we'll probably do the same thing to start with. And they're using the window OpenGL flag, but we know we can use more than that. And they actually test if the window could not uh, go very well for us, and then it will display nothing. It'll actually just tell us, could not create the window. Let's do that in our code, just to be safe. And, uh, oh, and it uses SDL delay. I wonder what that does. Oh, it looks like the comment here, it pauses execution for 3,000 milliseconds, or just three seconds, and then it will destroy the window. Oh, that must be a function pretty similar to SDL quits. It uh, must clean up the memory allocation, or whatever the case may be. Now it goes on to tell us that the flags may be any of the following or together. Oh, we can set the window to be full screen. Um, we can use resizable. Resizable is good. We should use that. And, uh, okay. OpenGL. I want to see what more that does. Window usable with OpenGL context. We probably won't need that. We do want some decorations, though. Window with hidden... Those are good options to know that exist, though, but I think the only one we'll actually want is window resizable, in our case. Oh, and destroy window. Let's check out what that does. Use this function to destroy window. <laughs> oh, okay. Not much else there. Probably good practice to include at the very end of the program any anyway, though. So let's head, head back to that, uh, that initial kind of example, and let's base our code off of that. We can have an SDL window... Remember, that's a pointer. I'll name the variable window. Let's declare that variable. And now let's go ahead and set it to be something. Window can equal SDL underscore create window. Remember, we're using that same naming convention for all the SDL functions, the acronym underscore and the camel case function name. And we want a title. 
I'm going to throw in a shameless little plug here. Subscribe. And now we want the X and Y coordinates. Well, they're using SDL window position undefined so that that way the display manager can actually de uh, determine where it wants it to go. And I'll do the same thing for uh, for my vi for my code here. And I'm actually just going to kind of layer these so it's a bit more readable and my screen doesn't have to go all that, all that far. Now we want the window width. I'll say 400. I'll just put a comment here, window width. And 200, comma here, window height. Okay, cool. And for the flag, let's go SDL window underscore. I believe that's how it's formalized. Yep. SDL underscore window underscore resizable. Underscore resizable. Cool. That's good. That's good for us. And now we can, uh, now that that's displayed, we do want to remove it or delete it. So let's go STL destroy window. I think we just pass in window. Check it out in the, in the example again. And yeah, that does just take window there. Okay. And they're using display, uh, sorry, delay to be able to see it. Let's do the same thing. Remember to end all of your lines with a, uh, semicolon. We'll use 3,000 just as well. In fact, let's go 5,000. So we have those many milliseconds. And let's test if the window is equal to null. Then we should display something on the screen. So let's actually go ahead and include IO stream. We're going to be using C++ typical uh, output method, output stream. There was an error initializing, initializing, <laughs> initializing, Init okay, I've completely butchered this word, initializing. There we go. The window. Let's include an end line, and let's go ahead and include SDL get error. Because that was the function that they mentioned uh, would return anything bad. Let's go ahead and search what that actually does, just so we know. SDL underscore get error. SDL underscore get error. Can search for this. Okay, cool. We get right to the page. Use this function to retrieve a message about the last error that occurred. Well, I don't really see this happening too often, and just in case we do see uh, an error. But let's test if we get a problem just by including that. Okay. Good. Uh, I believe our code is, is, is just about fine now. Let's hop over to the terminal, try and compile this. Uh, right now, the file is still called initialization.cpp. I'm going to go ahead and rename this. I'll use it 01. I'll call it 01 basic window.cpp. And just for housekeeping's sake, I'm going to go back to the initialization function and remove all this code. Now I'll go back to basic window. Okay, cool. Now I'll hop over to the terminal. C++ or G++ 01, basic window.cpp. And remember, the, uh, to compile with C++, we use our backticks, package config, C flags, and libs for the library SDL2. Run this, no errors, awesome. Now let's run as uh, a dot out. And whoa! I got a small little window here. You can see it says subscribe, that's the window title. And uh, it displayed for five seconds, and you could just see uh, that it, it was, it removed, it, it destroyed the window right after those five seconds. Uh, I can move this around, just a black box, very, very simple, but if I do nothing, it'll close out of it. Cool. We can, of course, change this to be anything we really want. We can have it just delay for only one second. Uh, now if I run this code, got to compile it, run the code, one second, and boom, it's gone. <laughs> One second again, and it's gone. So, that's how the SDLay, SDL delay function will work. It just simply delays the processing for uh, however many, many milliseconds you'd like, and the create window function will create a window, destroy a window, destroys it, and you have a, a specific amount of flags that you could use. Also, window position undefined and window position centered. It's a good idea to take a look at the documentation so you can really see what's going on and what other options you have for your create window function. Cool. 
Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, be sure to look at the uh, documentation and see what more cool stuff you can do. See you in the next tutorial.